Welcome back to the Hundred Girlfriends Anime Review, <clears throat> episode number eight. This is reviewing the ninth episode of the One Hundred Girlfriends. Really, 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 really love you. This is the ninth episode, which is called "The Holy War of Love and Soul." This is after chapters fourteen and fifteen. At, before I continue. Uh, it has been confirmed. We're getting a season two. Thank you. When? Don't know yet. But. Here, if you're really curious, there's a lot this manga left because by the time I looked up basically of what chapter the last episode gets to, it just gets past chapter 20. Which, here's the thing there's like 130 chapters left to be adapted, so. Maybe we'll get some episode next year. It's possible. I love that we're season two because I think it's a good show. So the episode up with Hockery, where she's talking to, well, this woman identified as her mother, who looks exactly like her, by the way. So they keep her hidden. So she, they, they look like there's like some chatting, but we don't hear what they say. Yeah, what actually is going on here is that her mother really wants her to break out with Rotaro because he's a five-timer. And she doesn't like the fact that, like, Rotaro's boyfriend is, is five-timing her. But she's not a secret yet. So, then we cut to present day, where we have Rotaro with his five girlfriends. Whether well, they're doing a date at the flower park, and then there's also a thing about catching a bouquet of flowers, potentially getting married. And then, like, oh, potentially, like, breaking up afterwards... When I was going to go to Rintaro and it's finding her house. And she's like, he's, he's shocked the fact that she lives in this gorgeous mansion with a fountain and everything. And tries contacting her. But she tells him, like, I can't see you anymore. And then he briefly talks to her mother. And then he's spooked. And he's basically dragged away by... I think it's supposed to be security guards. I don't think these are actual police officers. Because, this woman, because apparently... Akari's mom basically throw her money whenever she feels like it, and of course, Rintaro is angry and tells the other girl what happened, and then they decide to go and rescue her from basically her mother, but half captive in her own house. Yeah, and this is going to be quite interesting of, an, of the episodes going to air next week. Now, as far as I can tell, we have approximately three more to go for to be released. Now, the season series season is already done in Japan. So we're just waiting for the rest of the rest of the season release dubbed. Now I am not going to switch the sub just because I ran into episodes. I'm not doing that. I've done that two or three times. It's not a good idea to do that. And I've been thinking basically going back to watch the dub for the Raisha Hero get done the second and third season of the show because they both of them just wrapped up, and getting the dub for, for season four for like show show like uh, is it Rintero's Dungeon, the final season of Seven Deadly Sins. There are several shows basically I would love to listen to that for. But it depends. But this definitely was a good episode. And it's more like basically continue. It's like more like set up for the very next episode. Which is going to be exciting. But at least it's not the zombie panic. But I should point out though. The next episode starts a minor trend. Of the first of three times. Where he gets a girlfriend who's related to somebody. This is the first of three. And this might surprise you of how of how this is accomplished. I had to spoil that of course because yeah, this happens three times over the course of the series. Oh and by the way, in the most recent chapter release of the manga, Rintaro is now on his twenty seventh girlfriend. Twenty seventh. Yeah. Okay, so that's a pretty much a particular view. Next up is going to be Comic Corner, and I'm calling it night. Okay, next video. Bye.